Fam, so recently we had a horrible, horrible experience at the San Francisco International Airport uh, before flying to Malaysia. So before we show you the video, we want to share and give you a little bit context into what happened, all right? So we were just about to go through security and I was carrying a bottle, my own bottle, which I filled up with water. And I asked the guy like, hey, I have a bottle of water. And it, it's kind of like this, like, kind of like this bottle right here, water inside. I showed him and he's like, who's the water for? We said it's for the kids. And he's like, okay, we have to get it checked first. I was like, no problem. So we go past security, it, they took a couple of our bags. And at the end, we were waiting, waiting and waiting for them to check. It was so long, it was very long. I was so, so long and the kids were getting long. cranky. And Everyone's getting cranky. And the worst part is we were about to be late for our flight. So we were kind of edgy. I go up to the woman who was, you know, had all our things. I say, hey, excuse me, ma'am, like, what's going on? Uh, how long is it going to take? The first thing she tells me is, you should not have been here late. And I was like, you kidding me? We were at the airport three hours before our flight, and that's like way more sufficient enough time. Everything was moving super slow. And we've been patient throughout, but it's okay. We will humor this lady. And, and, um, what happened then? Okay, so then we're like, you know what? We got to go. Just toss the water. Yeah. It's fine. Just toss it. Yeah, just toss the water. It's fine. Just give me back my bottle. She proceeds to take the bottle with the water and walks away. So she's basically going to toss even the bottle too. And in my mind, I was like, you know what? Whatever. Take it. Go. We just got to go. We just got to go on a flight. We get, everyone's getting stressed out. Um, and what the thing is, they also confiscated a bunch of boxes of milk that we had. So we... Rachel packed a bunch of milk for the kids for the flight so they can be full. Yeah, I mean, we have a baby. Mm -hmm. Like, he needs milk. He needs milk, 24 yeah. 24 hour flight. Right. So she picked that up and she was about to toss them all. Didn't even ask us permission. Mm -hmm. Never once said, oh, is it okay if we toss this? Whatever. Just we see her with all like eight boxes of milk. About to toss it. Oh my gosh. And that's when I was like, I picked up the camera and hit record. Inside we are an SFO. They're literally caught confiscating. The yeah, kids' is milk. It's inside the bag. It's inside the little teddy bear bag right there. They're confiscating all the kids' milk. No. This is what we got to deal with in San Francisco. Kids' milk. Like, can you believe that? Ma'am, can you call a supervisor right now? Like, this is ridiculous. We bring milk for kids. I'm right here. Yeah, but like, milk for kids. I understand that. So the policy is, since you don't want to open it, I understand why you don't no, want to open it. No, I think the can... water. The water is fine. But we need the milk for the kids. Uh, um, open well, the not... milk, check the milk, no problem. Yeah, you can so open the milk. But we are You're waiting. Okay. Yes. This is yeah, of course. But are you going to open every single one of the milk? Is that what's going to happen? So you have to open each one of the milk? Yes, because we cannot check and see inside it. Is that okay? You're going to open every single milk to check. Well, then they won't stay good. They won't stay good. Either open just this one. is SFO, guys. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I take just open once. We can take one. <laughs> they don't give a f about our kids. Or just. Like... I didn't say that. <laughs> no, okay. I know you didn't I'm, say I'm that. Giving, I'm just I'm saying. You the option it's of not, not you. It. It's not you. <laughs> it's the policy and everything. Yes. You're a very yeah. nice man. I, I I appreciate that. But like, you literally want to open every single one of them, so they will not have any milk for the entire trip. That's why we're offering not opening them. Sitting me outside and patting one of you down so we do not have to open them. But that was not even offered. This is absolutely new information. She was literally taking it away to toss it. Okay. No, so tell me, tell me. So what am I asking right now? So options are we don't open it. We okay. see the outside of it and we pat one of you down. Okay. That's everything, it. Yeah, everything clears. So why can't we just do that from the beginning? From, from the beginning? Why must we go through this entire process, make us wait, almost be late for our flight? The waiting, part is, some... the waiting part is we have to go in order. So I don't know what the order w of your bag was. But yeah, we, we are here, which means our bag's already passed for a while now. I mean the ones that are being checked, not the ones that have already come through. Yes, the ones that are being checked is ours, it's right there, literally, us now. And so many people have already passed, so what, some, what, what am I waiting for now? I'm just trying to explain things. Okay, so, so what is it? Do we have the pat down right now? Or are you going like, to. Yeah, what we'll give it? you the pat down. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. They're. <laughs> They're searching for a male to pat me down because nobody here can do it. If they want to do a female, they can, can, pat you, can you pat me down? No, yeah, okay. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mama, mama, 
Mama, mama, mama, mama. That's your dino. And then that. that. Yes. Yeah. Mama, mama, we do you. Mama, 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 we do that. That's baby Kaiga. You're right. Thank you. You're welcome. Mama, mama, mama. Okay, hold on, baby. Okay, we're out. We are the absolute last person going through the gates. I just hope we make it to a flight. This is America for you guys. They were just gonna throw away and didn't even like ask us. They didn't even ask us nothing. She, she moved so slow, we wanna check, so I told her, get rid of the water, it's okay, we don't need the water. And she took and she just wanted to toss all our milk. I was like, what the heck, the kids need milk. And they were like, all of a sudden, they were like, Oh, we need to patch you down so that we can allow you to bring the milk. Or we need to poke holes in every single milk container. You guys heard it. He was right there talking to me. Like, what the heck? Mama, right? I don't understand how a pat down makes it okay for you to bring exactly. milk. Exactly. What does that. a pat down do with milk? It's so stupid. So guys, we, we've taken some time to actually process through this. You know, we've watched back that video several times now. And the first thing that keeps coming back to us is we are really, really disappointed with how families are treated in America. Like this has never happened to us when we traveled in Asia, in KLIA, even in Taipei in the layover, what happened? In the layover in Taipei, we had to go through security again and they actually put us through a separate line because we had kids and it was a shorter line, mm -hmm. it was easier, they helped us. But we still had several bottles of milk left, no issue, no none. Issue. none. Yeah. Zero. In KLIA, they put us in a separate line because we had children with us, they understand, but this has never happened in America for us. Like we were treated like, like nothing. It's already hard enough traveling with kids. It's already completely and totally out of the routine. And to have it make even harder by how we're treated by airport staff and security, it just right. oh, blows my mind. We were okay with the water, but the milk, yeah, but the milk, it's a 1 a.m. flight, which means that no stores were open. Every convenience store was closed. We could not replace this milk. Yeah, there's no way for us to get any more milk after that. So it's very disappointing that they didn't want to allow us to bring the milk in. But also the pat down. What does that got to do with milk? Nothing. And that was not offered to us at any time before, up till the very end. Until was... we start getting really frustrated about it. Yeah. That's when they're like, okay, okay, well, like, we'll just wipe the milks and then just give you a pat down. Yeah. What? Yeah, so basically this this whole ordeal is just yeah, heartbreaking and I hope I hope other families don't have to go through this of what we went through. Um, but yeah, this video is really just to put out there what actually happens uh, in America is the real thing. Uh, let us know down in the comment what do you think. Uh, were we treated unfairly or was this justified? I don't know, but I want to hear what you think.